Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Fresno here on Thursday. It is October the 13th, 2016. Let's look at the first three races on today's program. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for full card selection from Fresno. I'm going to look at the early pick three um, from Fresno. It's a nice little card here from the, um, the final fair meet of 2016. So let's get on to it. Starting off with race number one, it's a speed index race. It's uh, going for a purse of $5,100 for three-year-olds and upwards. The average speed index of 90 and under. Uh, there's no sex allowance here. We have a field of seven horses traveling a ding, <laughs> traveling 870 yards. You know, it's a nice little, you know, I like these uh, mule races here. That's, that's what these races are for. 870, they're traveling. And my top selection here will go to the four horse at a bit of a price here, I believe, uh, if uh, memory is, if my memory still went right, and that is number four, Restless Hannah at uh, ten to one. I'm gonna go four one seven six four one seven six here in the opener for Friday. So number one, Restless Hannah, ten to one. Joe Crispin on this ten year old mare. Last time out, ran at Santa Rosa three fifty on August fourteenth in a speed index forty three uh, forty three uh, thousand dollars or forty three hundred. Excuse me. Source finished fourth by three and a half lengths that day. You know, just didn't have the best to run really. Just wasn't her day to run that day. Uh, start before Sacramento, 400, July 17th, in the speed index for 5,100. Horse finished seventh by five and a half lengths. You know, it has two starts this year. Both starts were just disappointing. Um, you know, if you go back to last year, ran an 870 race here at, at Fresno, October the 16th. Um, here, so horse finished second by a head and just, just uh, missed. This horse is a little bit wide also and was, you know, going out in the uh, stretch run. If this horse kept the straight you know, course, I think this horse should have uh, won that day, so I think this horse should have a good run here today, I'm um, going to take my chances with this one, if this horse, the third off the layoff, it will go with, because uh, I think this horse should really do well, well, this horse's last win actually came over the surface here at Fresno, we have to go back to 2013, October the 14th, 2013, uh, an allowance racer, 5,000 speed index, this horse won by two and a half lengths, you know, it was a very good, good victory for this one. So I'm going to go with uh, this one here. So to recount my bets for race number one from Fresno, I'm going to go with the four horse, Restless Hannah. I'm going to go 4176, 4176. So now let's get on to race number two from Fresno, which is a claim race, purse $18,000 for three year olds and upwards. Um, you know, we have a field of five horses traveling distance of ground of six furlongs. And my top selection here will go to the three horse, Betting McCann Can. I'm going to go. 3 4 1. 3 4 1 here in the trifecta. Number 3, Betting McCann Can. Uh, 5 to 2. This 5 year old gelding. Um, last time out ran at Oak Tree at Pleasanton. Six rungs on um, September the 25th and claiming 10,000. This horse won by a 1 and a quarter lengths. Was stalking the pace. He got the lead and just drove off to a very nice victory. Uh, you know, it was just a nice race for this horse that day. He's the winner of the last two. Start before at Golden Gate Fields, 5 and a half. September the 2nd and claiming 9,000. He won by 3 and a half lengths on the lead all throughout. Easy driving victory. And then start before August the 12th at uh, Santa Rosa on the turf course. Five furlongs claiming 8,000. This horse finished fourth by 4 and 3 quarter lengths. Basically fourth all around. He just didn't really have the best of uh, runs that day. He didn't have the greatest of closing kicks. I think this horse do well. I'm dirt. He's um, eight and three. Likes it. Um, you know, three out of his six wins have come on this uh, on dirt. So I'm gonna take my chances with this one here. Distance shouldn't be a problem. So to recap my bets for race number two from Fresno, I'm gonna go with the three horse betting McCann can. Gonna go three four one three four one. So now let's get on to race number three, the final race I'll look at on today's program. If you want races four, five, six, and seven, follow me on Twitter. But uh, today's third race from Fresno is claim race purse twelve thousand dollars for three olds and upwards um we have a field of six horses going for a claim price of five grand traveling five and a half furlongs five and a half and i'm gonna go to the two horse as a top selection number two Trelinui, Trelinui. Hopefully I said that right. I probably didn't, but who cares? I'm gonna go two, three, six, one here. Two, three, six, one. Number two, Trel, uh, Trelawine, Trelawine. We'll go with that. Two to one. Um, uh, uh, last time out, ran at Golden Gate Field, six furlongs, September the 17th, at claiming five thousand. Horse finished second by a half length that day. You know, it was a little bit wide. He was. 
coming in at the end, but it just wasn't his best of runs. Uh, start for four or five and a half Golden Gate Fields, claim 5,000. He won by half length. You know, he just rallied. He's This horse is a rallier. That's the thing that scares me a little bit. Can he really get a good rallying finish on this dirt surface? You know, he's never run here, but he's 60 and 14. This nine-year-old horse. Um, I think he might, he can get a good rally in, uh, close. You know, his last time he ran on dirt, five and a half for Santa Rosa on August 5th and claiming 6250. He finished second by a nose. He was close, you know, he was along with the leader, second basically all throughout, and just, just missed the, uh, the victory. And then start for Sacramento, five and a half for claiming 6250. Again, he finished second by one three quarter lengths, basically second all throughout. Really couldn't catch the winner and ran well. Um, so I'm going to go with this horse's top selection. So to recap my bets, race number three, I'm from Fresno. Gonna go with the two horse. Gonna go two, three, six, one. Two, three, six, one. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.